Hey, what's going on guys, and uh, welcome to another video. Today, as the title reads, I want to talk about what the Koreans are doing for Lee Sin. As we go into Season 8, I think it is important to have a larger spectrum of examples of Lee Sin players and what they're doing. I like to figure things out in the preseason on my own, but then as we get closer to the new season, which, um, as I'm making this video, that's tomorrow, uh, it is good to see what all the better Lee Sin players are doing, and I think Korean Lee Sins definitely have their shit down. So that's what I want to analyze today, is just look at the rune pages that they've been typically taking, and the builds that they've been doing, and I'm going to try out something a little bit different today. Um, so the main rune page that I see, and it's pretty standard for Koreans, is as follows. Um, Electrocute Sudden Impact, Zombie Ward, Runless Hunter on the left side, and for the secondary tree, they take Triumph. And then it's pretty much a toss-up between Alacrity and Coupe de Gras. I usually go Coupe de Gras, but a lot of people have been prioritizing attack speed, which I thought was interesting. So give that a shot for sure. Um, the second KR uh, rune page that I created was one from a specific master tier um, Lee Sin player. And that's what I want to try today. It was a little bit interesting. He takes Eyeball Collection, which is pretty troll. Honestly, Zombie Ward is better in most situations because... It gives so much vision on the map, and it's just better in high elo, but he's been taking Eyeball Collection. And then in the Sorcery Tree, for his secondary tree, he takes Ultimate Hat and Transcendence. Um, honestly, it's pretty bizarre to me why he does that, but um, we're going to get into the game, and um, I'll show you the build. So, thanks guys, let's get into it. Alright guys, so talking about the build, what Koreans are typically doing, um, it's really nothing shocking. It's actually pretty straightforward. Um... From what you're used to from last season, it's really not a whole lot different. Actually, I don't think it's any different. They've basically just been building Warriors with Green Smite and then rushing Black Cleaver, GA. Um, some people build Mob Malmordius. A lot of people like to go Deadmans, Radnoids. Like, it's really standard. Nothing is really different with the build. Um, there's one notable change that I've seen a lot of Lee Sin players are doing, especially in Korea, is they're rushing Duskblade second item. And that's something that I actually have been experimenting with a lot, but I've been going like full AD after Duskblade, whereas they do a normal Lee Sin build, they just add Duskblade as their second item because that item is just so freaking good on pretty much any assassin, but there, it brings so much utility as well with the um, sweeper on it. So Duskblade, definite option. Um, now, the build that I'm actually doing today is that weird master tier Korean player that I was telling you about, um, who I'm taking his rune page as well with the ultimate hat, but he likes to do red smite warriors into a regular black cleaver and uh, standard Lee Sin build. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, Kha'Zix is probably top, so get the fuck out of there. I, I'd be willing to bet Kha'Zix is top. Kha'Zix could have started his blue. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in here. Wait. Yeah, let's do it. I should get him, right? Wow, I didn't kill him. Alright, well that was interesting. I actually thought we had that kill pretty much locked up, but... Gangplank's orange heals for a lot more than I expected. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, but it's not a big deal. Still still pretty good start. Got some pressure top lane, I guess. That way it's sh shoving, so... Um, I'm just gonna finish clearing my top side and then recall. Alright guys, anyways, as I was saying, build-wise, Koreans are pretty much pretty standard doing everything that they did last season with the twist of the Dusk Blade being pretty viable on Lee Sin now as a second item. But this guy specifically builds Red Smite Warriors and then he rushes Black Cleaver after that. And he's got the Transcendence and the Ultimate Hat. So definitely different from what I'm used to seeing, but I wanted to give it a shot just to see how I liked it. So that's, that is what we're doing right now. Um, so we're gonna go Red Smite as well. Ooh, fuck. Give me an assist at least. Give me an assist, give me an assist. Or give me a kill, that's even better. I honestly don't think uh, Ezreal would have lived though if I didn't take that, so... It wasn't just KSing. I had actual reason to do that. I'm gonna just visit top real quick. I'm really wondering where Kha'Zix is. Oh, he's there. He's going to my blue for some reason, so I'm gonna go to his blue. Yeah, he started topside, which is interesting. He walked over a ward though, so... Oh, wait. 
Oh, he didn't get the kill. And he didn't take my blue. Okay. I don't know where Kha'Zix is, so I'm going to run toward our Nasus right now before I get picked. I also don't know where GP is. Probably recalled. Oh, that's not good. Dude, I like... This is like a game of chess between me and Kha'Zix right now. We're both trying to read each other and make a plays accordingly, and it's it's pretty intense, actually. I like I like games that are like this, where you're trying to outsmart the enemy jungler as opposed to just outplaying him. Um, but I think Red Smite will actually really help with trying to control Kha'Zix early on. I can actually, like, fight him. That's the one thing about a lot of champions that r take Red Smite... Um, on Lee, since you prefer trackers, typically, they do have a slight bit of an advantage in the 1v1s because of that. So, when you do take Red Smite, it is pretty good for, like, invading and shit. Probably what I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, or I can just go bot. They don't have vision here. They know, I'm, they know I'm at my blue, but they don't have vision. So, Oh, never mind. I was just gonna... Wait, wait, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I flashed to auto. <laughs> I wouldn't have flashed like that if I thought I was gonna get the kill anyways. Um, that's right. What do we need this game? A lot of... See, they have a lot of CC, but they also have a lot of auto attacks. So I think we're gonna go Ninja Tabby. Um, but we're just gonna grab Ruby Crystal for now, I guess. Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. Kha'Zix got two kills there. Go to my Gromp. Go to my Gromp. Go to my Gromp. He can't fight you. Go to my Gromp. See? There you go. That's all you gotta do. Now we go Infernal Drake because he just got caught out there. Nice. Playing the map well right now. But so is Kha'Zix. I'll give, I'll give Kha'Zix props. He's also playing the map decently well. Got his ult, just baited his ult so easily. This Heimerdinger is trigger happy, man. You come in, you get into his face like a, you just show up in his lane and he pops, he uses a spell. Kha'Zix might be here in my jungle. Yeah. I knew he was topside. I don't think this is warded, otherwise they'd be reacting to me, my presence here. So they might walk here. Wait, wait. Just wait for Kha'Zix to walk here. Oh, oh, they're gonna dive. Dude, he really doesn't die. Alright, that's good. DK gets it. Come on. Wait, what? What What the fuck? Okay, Nasus. I thought you were gonna fucking help me. Here, oh. Yeah, I'm so not. Oh, he missed. I'm coming, stay alive. We can do it, we can win. Oh, come on. No way. Okay, my red smite got her. Hey, red smite, let's go. Victor's here. I think that's a free kill for Vic. Beautiful. Worth my flash. that I was just I don't know I don't I don't fuck with Heimers when there's a big tower out because I just swear they can melt like two people at once so quickly so just uh, a little bit of a kill secure there KS kill secure I'm gonna come through lane here lane gank I have a pink I think so okay so sometimes putting a uh, red putting that I think we're down is kind of obvious in here wait wait no, they have no idea kill these minions Nice. Now gone. nice. I didn't even have to ult there. Wait, wait, get him. Nice, I'm out. I'm not gonna go back in unless. Nah, he's dead. I 
was gonna say, I'm only gonna go, I'm only gonna go back in there if uh, Shen somehow pulls it off. I can just like, the last little nudge he needs, but... No, his turrets got me! Okay, so Red Smite is actually a pretty huge asset on me. And that would explain why he actually takes eyeball collection now. Is because you're not placing as many wards like you normally would on me. So eyeball so zombie ward kind of becomes irrelevant for you. That explains why he does this. He just likes to build red smite, and I totally respect that. And I, like I said, I can already tell it's, it's definitely a viable option. I, I mean I've been going I've been doing red smite a lot this preseason, and I, I do like it. Um, this guy is just Dies once. Like, really? We got. Come out. We got. Oh my god, they're all focusing on Shen. Gotcha. Oh, these Heimer turrets. And we're gonna come out on top here. Let's go. Alright, that works. Red Smite OP. I had to burn Flash. I think it's worth though, because we can get this Drake now. Um, Ash is shoving bot. Mm, I think a bot. I'm not gonna come through lane though, because she's gonna get caught out. And get this free kill. No sidestep. Okay, doesn't matter though. Except they're on Baron, which is unfortunate. I don't know if they can... They don't have Ash, though. Oh, I don't... Oh, yeah, good TP, good TP. That's really... Actually, I think we got that. They might get the Baron, but they're gonna get like... Nope, Nasus got it. Good shit. Good fucking steal. Actually, you might put the nail in the coffin for them. This is the one time where not having wards fucking hurts. Easy. Just reset. Sit in the side lane, let uh, Nasus just... Or we just have to sit mid, let Nasus sit in the side lane. No one's gonna be able to contest a Nasus with... What is that? 620 stacks? Yeah, no. No one's gonna be able to fight him. So... That's that's the that's the play. That's the play. Don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. No, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Holy shit. That's just stupid. <laughs> he was baffled that I took Red Smite. I got a, I got a life steal. Cause they're gonna go Baron. Fuck, I just used Challenging Smite to get some health back. We just gotta go, we just gotta go. For it. It was worth a shot. Nice. Wait, we oh, can I catch this guy? I don't have a ward for three, two, one. And I'm out. Let's get out of here. This is not good. We have no sideline pressure. I don't know. I guess we can. I guess we can because Ash is dead, but just so well. Nice. Okay. Okay. That's really good. Watch this Nasus go, dude. Yep, 
Back off now. Back off. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Got you. Holy fuck, we're cutting this close. Braum didn't have that uh, locket I was going to go in. Setting, three setting. I gotta, I gotta feel this game. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh my god, we're actually gonna lose. Oh. Oh. Mm, will we lose? Close. Nasus nah, is really our only hope. 756. <laughs> okay. That's game, boys. Nice. Well, fortunately, we failed this game, got the big fat L, but build-wise, I thought it was pretty interesting. I, like I said, Lee Sin, right now, you can pretty much build so many different things, so many varieties of builds and runes that I think work on Lee. Um, in terms of what I would recommend for runes, I would definitely stick to the, the other rune page, where you're taking Triumph and... Coupe de Gras or Alacrity, I think it's much, much better. And uh, Zombie Ward with Tracker's Knife is just so OP on Lee right now. So definitely would recommend that. Um, but yeah, outside of that, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.